Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, I'm 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 Christoph, <laughs> just off camera here, and uh, or the bearded detailers you may know me. And uh, today we're going to talk about wheel cleaning. Now this is typically the last thing that I do when doing any sort of uh, vehicle cleaning. Uh, the reason why I do it last is because typically it is the dirtiest part of the car, at least. At least for this car, uh, being that it has larger brakes, uh, the pads create quite a bit of dust. And uh, just for me, this is usually the last thing I do. Uh, also, I use it at the end of my bucket. So this is the dirtiest the water is. Uh, I don't have to then worry about putting wheel water onto the paint. So it's the very last thing. Nothing that's on the paint will be as dirty as what's already on the wheels. So you may use a separate bucket with a clean bucket of water, bucket of water for, um, for the wheels. You can use it at the end of the body uh, and work on the wheels last like I do. Totally up to you. But we are using Optimum No Rinse, uh, as always. Two gallons of water with one ounce or two caps of Optimum No Rinse inside that two gallons of water. Uh, in here, uh, for the wheels, I don't use my big red sponge. I use just a microfiber cloth that's been soaking. I have a tire brush. I only use this on tires. And I have a small wheel woolly with, actually this is the angle one. Helps you get in behind, in be, in behind those hard to reach areas. Now I also have here Optimum Ferrex and OptiSeal. Now, uh, I would, Normally use Optimum Power Clean on the tires. However, these tires are still very clean. They still have a good uh, coating of OptiBond tire gel on there, so they'll be fine if I just rub the um, if I just wipe the the tire with the, the microfiber towel or the tire brush. So we're just going to do that. But if your tires are very very dirty, you can use a diluted Optimum Power Clean and a spray bottle, three to one. Uh, which this is a 30 ounce bottle. I do. Uh, power clean up to the 10 ounce mark and then the rest with water so you can do that as well and I also as always have a spray bottle of optimum no rinse this is a 24 ounce bottle uh, I use three caps into here which is one and a half ounces of optimum no rinse and the rest with water it's a little bit more concentrated than your regular wash dilution um, and I will show you why I use that so first things first uh, I've already washed the rest of the vehicle, so I'm going to do my best to not get that wet again. Um, but we shouldn't have that much of an issue. So we're going to spray Optimum Ferrex, which is an iron deposit and ferrous material remover. And you're just going to kind of get into all the little nooks and crannies where you know the, the dust builds up. And yes, be mindful of your overspray. Uh, you can get on your calipers, um, but be mindful of your overspray. Uh, this stuff will stain and it's kind of a pain to get off once it has dried, uh, but it does come off. Okay, so we got that on there. I'll let that soak for a little bit. And as you can see, it is turning, it goes on clear and it turns red once it has reacted with any ferrous material, iron deposits and any other um, material that is no bueno. So these wheels have been coated with Optimum Gloss Coat uh, this is one of the first things I did when I got them. I uh, was immediately coated them. And uh, we're just going to let them, you can see it's getting nice dark purple, reddish purple. And the first thing, now you, you can do this a couple different ways. Um, and I go back and forth with different ways that I do it. You can either take your towel or sponge and wash the face first. Uh, you can use your wheel, wheel woolly first. What I do like to do uh, when I'm outside is do this process and then pressure washer to blast all the heavy stuff off. That's what I like to do. And it works very, very well. Then you you still have to go back with your, your wash material, your uh, no rinse, soap, whatever you're using and get into those nooks and crannies there. So you have your options. One thing I do like to do is once it's gotten to this point, I take my no rinse dilution and I start spraying. And what that's going to do is that is going to start the encapsulation process and emulsifying the dirt. It will start lifting, essentially just making it easier to clean off when I do start cleaning it. 
you're just jumping the gun there. And see how it's already, it already looks cleaner than it did. So uh, we'll take our towel here, which again has been soaking in O&R. Rinse most of it out. You just want a nice little drip and have at it. Start, start wiping down, getting the nooks and crannies there. This is the boring part. <laughs> Hopefully your wheels have more open spaces and are easier to clean than these. I have cleaned worse, I've cleaned better. So <laughs> make sure you go back and rinse every so often, um, leaving just a little drip. You want still a little bit of the O&R in the towel um, and you can see it's starting to get hydrophobic as we get going here because because the bad stuff is going away. Now, you may also to choose to not go behind the spokes and clean the barrel. That's totally up to you. Um, some, I know some wheels do not really allow for easy cleanup like that. So it's totally up to you. Now, with in regards to the openings for the wheel bolts or lugs, uh, that's where the spray comes in handy. Spray it in there and it helps kind of flush it out if you're not using a pressure washer. It really helps get that stuff out. I like to keep the whole thing moist. Now we're going to get in there with the wheel woolly. Again, this is a uh, an angle one which really helps get into those hard to reach areas. And this really depends on your level of uh, anal retentiveness. <laughs> uh, I don't do this every time. Um, I may do it every other. It depends on how dirty it really gets. Today it's not too bad. And this wheel boy that I have is just thin enough that I can get in between the brake caliper, which is nice. And I, I simply just go back and, and rinse to get a lot of the, the big stuff off of the brush as I'm going. Now, even though you did use, even though we, you know, you may have used the, uh, the towel, be sure to use maybe something a little bit stiffer. Now these are microfiber woolies, so they are nice to use on your finished surfaces. Um, the longer you leave O&R on the surface, the more it'll actually help break down anything that is not removed or not broken down by, <clears throat> excuse me, by the ferrex. So it's always good to go back with something a little stiffer to help get all that stuff off. And if you have something even smaller to get in those holes, go for it. But that is what I like to do. Get in that lip all the way around. Okay, now it says I'm going to do the tires as well. Rinse this back off. You can see we're back up to being hydrophobic again. They are coated. There we go. Now, we are clean for the most part, what I can see. For doing a hand wash inside the garage, um, without a pressure washer. Uh, it's You kind of have to pick and choose your battle. If you're doing it outside in the pressure washer, you can, you can really get in there and do a lot more. Like I said, I don't do this every time. I only do this every other. Every other wash or if it is very, 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 very dirty. So next, pro next step would be drying, the drying process. I have another microfiber towel ready to go and I have OptiSeal. So this is a polymer sealant, lasts for about six months, depending on maintenance. And uh, but I use it as a drying aid. You've probably heard me say this on many videos. Um, you can either do one spray on the surface. I prefer to just spray the towel. Uh, it is a fresh towel, so it may take a couple sprays. And I also do one mist on the outside. And you can already see it's starting to shed the water. Uh, and then you just dry it off. 
Make sure you get all the nooks and crannies. Now obviously the only thing I cannot dry is the barrel, the inside of the wheel, because obviously I can't reach it. I would have to have some magic fingers to do that. And I probably wouldn't be a detailer if I could do that. So, there we go. That's it. All done. Uh, however you want to dress your tires is up to you. I do prefer to use OptiBond's tire, uh, Optimum's OptiBond tire gel. Uh, it leaves a nice matte finish and uh, it lasts. It lasts for a pretty long time. I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, I think the most I've gotten out of it on a daily used vehicle was about three weeks. And I was very, very happy with that. Uh, you could still tell it was there at the three week mark. I did compare it to Sonax um, tire gel, which also left a nice matte finish, which I like. I don't like shiny. Um, but it just, it kind of, it held up longer than Sonax. So that's it. That is how to use Optimum products to wash and dry your wheels. Simple as that. Uh, you can go further. You can use wax on them if you want. You can then do another level of sealant after that. But uh, I've had these wheels on for a couple months now. They've been coated for a couple months. They've been holding up great. There's really no, once they're, these are coated, so there's no reason to uh, to put anything past uh, just the sealant on it. Uh, I recommend if you have an air gun, blow off inside here, otherwise you're gonna start getting drips like I am right now. Um, but other than that, on a hot day like today, once I pull this out, it'll be all evaporating a little bit, but that's it. That's all I have. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment or send them my way via Facebook, Instagram, website, whatever you need to do, or leave it a message here on YouTube as well. Be sure to answer my, your question as best as I can. Be sure to give this video a like and a share. Let everyone know that this is what, where you got your information and what products to use and how to use it. And uh, for more information, please go to thebeardeddetailer.com. And uh, all these products that are used here today can be seen and bought in the swag store on that website as well too. But that's it. And until next time, keep it clean.